Hey guys! So, today the look that I'm going to be going for is this. It's more of a copper so with some rose tones on the eyes and a berry lip. And if you want to see how I got this, then just stick around and I'll show you how. I am actually going to be going out with some of my friends bowling tonight. So I guess I just decided I was going to film my makeup while I was getting ready for that. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with some of my Stila CC Cream. And this is for color correcting. I actually use this as a primer, which I find works really well because it gets rid of some of the redness and that's in my skin. Since the new foundation that I have isn't too full coverage. And I've heard some people complain about the smell from this. I don't know if I'm just weird or something, but I don't really mind how it smells. There we go, okay. So now that that's all rubbed in, I'm going to go in with the foundation that I got recently, which is my NARS Sheer Glow. And this one is in the shade Light One, which is called Siberia. And I'm just going to get a little bit of this out on the back of my hand. There we go, then just wipe across the edge. And I am going to apply this with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush. So just take a little bit of that. I love the color on this because it actually matches my skin so nicely and very rare because I have really pale skin but unlike I guess a lot of people that have pale skin mine isn't a pink undertone it's yellow so I've somehow managed to get, like, white olives toned complexion. It was funny, the girl, the Sephora that I go to, her name's Kay, she helped me find this, and she's like, you're a unique individual, which I think was her way of saying, I'm very glad that we finally found this and matches you, because it's kind of annoying trying to find one. But it's okay, she was very nice. So now that that's all on, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is just in the shade NW15. I'm going to take a little bit of this, just on the back of my hand. And I'm going to blend it in under my eyes and just on some of my blemishes with my Tapered Kabuki Brush from by Sigma. Right under my eyes. There we go. Okay, so now that I've gone in with that, I'm now going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Taupe. And I just have a cheap little, I think it's the Eye and Brow Definer brush. It's just this little angled brush right here. And I just dip this in, and this is what I use to fill in my eyebrows. There we go. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are nice and filled in, I'm just going to get a little bit of brow gel. One that I just recently got is the MAC Brow Set, and I just have the clear one. And I've been trying this one out, see if it's any better than my just the basic Sephora clear brow gel. So far they seem about the same to me. I've yet to find one that I really like am in love with. So I'll see if I start to like this one any better or if it just stays sort of my basic. It works. So, now that the eyebrows are done, I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on my eyelids. I already went over them with the concealer, my MAC Pro Longwear one. And that does prime my eyes pretty well, but I'm just going to 
get a bit of extra insurance with this to make sure that everything goes on nice and smooth and stays still where I want it to stay. Okay, so now that I have that on, oh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay, I think I'm going to go in with Cranberry from MAC. So this is this nice, here I'm going to just pop the lid open. So this is this nice sort of ready purple cranberry color. It's named very well. And I'm just going to take my Sigma the Tapered Blending Brush and I'm going to put this in through my crease. I'm going to take the same color afterwards and I'm going to go and find my pencil brush and with my pencil brush I'm just going to take this same color and just run it right under my lashes there we go okay so that's on next what I'm gonna go with is this little sample that I got from MAC and it's the rose pigment and I'm just going to take a little bit of this onto my medium angled shading brush. This is the E70 from Sigma. This one right here, let's see if I can get it. There we go, that right there. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this rose pigment, just a little bit right there, and then just go into the lid of the sample that I got, tap that in, and I'm just going to run this right over the lid. And then just blend it up a little bit. And tap that over on the other eye. There we go, then blend up. So now I'm going to go in with this shadow from Makeup Forever. And it is in the shade I736. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that color right here and on the same angled shader brush I'm just going to put a little bit of that brown it's going to be right in the or outer corner here and I'm going to just blend it into my crease and keep it a little bit in that outer V and outer crease Then I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush without no additional product and just go back and forth to soften that line up a little bit. What do I want to do? I think what I'm going to do is to, I'm just going to smudge some, sorry, just go under my eye a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I think I'm going to go in with just a coal eyeliner and do a little bit of a smudged black eyeliner look on like my inner and outer corner line or inner and outer upper and lower lash line that's the one for it, okay so I'm just going to take this black coal liner from NARS so just this one right here so yeah I'm just going to take this and I'm going to run it on my lower lashes. There we go. And then just right along my upper lash line. I'm having terrible luck with eyeliner today. Mirror. Very helpful. And I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that I've got the eyeliner on, I'm just going to take my an Extreme Dimension Black Mascara. There we 
There we go. Okay. So now that I have the mascara on, eyes are done. So I'm going to move on to cheeks. The blush I'm going to put on today is called Love Cloud. Love Cloud. Okay. And it's a blush from MAC here. And it's this really nice little baby doll pink. And I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetics blush brush. BH Cosmetics blush brush. And put a little bit of that there. And I'm just going to put it back from my cheeks and bring it down to the apples. There we go. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Nicely applied there now. I'm now going to go in with my Mary Luminizer from the Balm and just take a little bit of that on the same blush brush and just put that right on top of my cheekbones. Just get a nice highlight going there. There we go. I'm also going to put just a little bit on my Cupid's bow right here. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC bronzing powder in the shade Golden. And again, same brush. Just take this and run it right underneath. Right under my cheekbones there. And then just blend it up a little bit into my temples. Just for a little bit of contouring. Not too much. This is a little bit too golden to be a good contour. It's a really nice bronzer, but bronzer just tends to look a little bit orange on me. So since that's done, I'm now going to just set that with my Makeup Forever Professional HD, Defini bleh, HD Definition Powder. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this onto just a large Sephora powder brush. go, then just a little bit more setting powder. Make sure everything stays in place. There we go. Okay, so now that I have everything set for my face, I'm just going to go in for my lips. I think I'm going to go in with... Okay, I'm going to start with my lip pencil in Vino, which is just a nice little wine color. There we go, okay. So I have the lip pencil on now. So I'm going to go in just with this Cream Sheen Lip Glass from MAC. I haven't actually used this very much. I got it with part of the, um, this is called No Apologies. It was part of the Punk Couture collection a little while ago. And I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Oh, I really like that. I don't normally use lip gloss because my hair always ends up getting stuck in it. Maybe I'll just put my hair up today. I really like the way that feels too. A lot of lip glosses get really like a sticky feeling. This feels to go on really smoothly, which is really nice. I might need to pick up some more of these. We are done. I'm just going to go and throw up my hair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and this is the finished look. I really like how this turned out and I think I'll be doing this more often. I'm definitely going to give the uh, different lip glosses a, different, a try more so than what I normally do. So that's all for now and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!